next item. District literacy. This is elementary's turn. Dr. Trocco. Good evening, President Adams, Board of Trustees, Superintendent Whiston. It's always a pleasure to talk about the really positive things that are happening in Dearborn Public Schools. Last fall, we learned about the reward school status that uh, was designated and introduced by the Michigan Department of Education as a way of recognizing schools whose student achievement outpaced or was greater than the average or greater than expected. And just as a quick reminder, Dearborn's uh, reward schools were Henry Ford Early College, Lori Middle School, Woodworth Middle School, Whitmore Bowles Elementary, and Maples Elementary. Our Maples Elementary students have uh, made phenomenal progress in writing and knowing that that is a goal for all of our students across the district, a team from Maples is here tonight to share with you just a, a, a few quick things about how it is they're improving their students' writing proficiency. Good evening, President Adams, Superintendent Weston, and Board of Trustees. I would like to introduce today Mr. Farkas, our District IC Interventionist Coach, Mrs. Hilda Irani, our Bilingual Resource Teacher, and Mrs. Uh, Jill Marveso, our Title I Resource Teacher. I would also like to thank Dr. Chokel for inviting Maple's team to talk about Maple's writing and for leading the district into a consistent writing program and it's going to it's been implemented it has been implemented for the past year at least and it, br it brought together the entire district and a consistency in the writing framework where every student in every elementary classroom is writing for 40 my five minutes daily this is the writing block i would also uh, like to explain a handout that was given to you. You have in front of the handout a writing program that we have developed at Maples and we've been implementing for the past three years since 2010. Uh, it's been pretty consistent and also uh, a brief summary of what the staff, parents and students do at Maples to sustain this program. On the back you have our writing scores and how, how much we have improved for the past three years. And uh, they are also broken by genre because when they test the students on the MEEP, they test them on narrative, informational, and uh, opinion writing. Uh, we did exceed the district and the state this year by 25 and 26 points, and we had improved by 11 points from last year to this year. Uh, Mr. Farkas, Mrs. Irani, and Mrs. Marveso are the three main individuals in our school who work tirelessly on any initiative that we come up with. Uh, they are part of the leadership team and they can make any initiative work and successful. They will talk to you in detail how we implement the program at Maples. And of course with any program if you do not have monitoring and accountability, uh, it does not work well. Uh, part of the accountability at Maple for writing is that the teachers plan their lessons in teams by grade level. Every student has a binder that travels with them and they use to store their writing, their writing pieces and their writing tools. Uh, they store their graphic organizers and whatever checklists these wonderful people provide, to, uh, provide them with. The binder travels to the next grade level teacher and the receiving teacher adds to it and they use it to drive instruction. Uh, the binder, binder is also divided into three text types with appropriate genres and all teachers receive scaffold on the writing process. Good evening. My name is Steve Farkas. I am the interventionist coach at Naples Elementary School and um, I have both district responsibilities and responsibilities to Maples Elementary. My district responsibilities in regards to the process writing is um, I'm part of a team of five other interventionist coaches and a team of very dedicated teachers that over the last year have put together the Dearborn Writing Framework. And that is the curriculum for writing for grades K through five. Um, and we also have six members from Maples Elementary School that are a part of that team. So Maples Elementary, we have our we have our fingerprints all over the writing framework. So we've been heavily involved in that. Um, at the building level, my job is to then take what we've come up with at the district level and make sure it's implemented 
in, in, in the building. And we do that through our building PDs and our, and our late starts. Um, the plan that we have in effect is very, very effective. And the data that you have in front of you um, proves, proves that. I mean, we have produced some amazing, amazing results. Um, everything we do is data driven. Um, during our late starts and our professional development within the building, we uh, look at MEEP released um, writings. So we look at exemplar pieces of writing. And then we have our teachers score those writings. So we kind of take the subjectivity out of the assessment of writing, because sometimes that can be a little tricky. Um, so um, everything, I think, really happens at the building level. Yes, we have this Dearborn Writing Framework from the district. But I think why it works at Maples is because of the team behind me, especially our two writing coaches, Ms. Hilda Irani and Ms. Jill Marveso. They do the work. And I think they are a big part of the success that we have at Maples School. So now I'd like to invite Jill Marveso up, and they're gonna talk more in detail about how this looks at the building level. Good evening, thanks for having us here tonight. Um, I just wanna talk um, about what Steve was saying about how we use data um, in our building and we use it to drive our instruction. We sit down with all of the teachers as our resource team and our staff and we analyze the district writing assessments that we do three times a year along with the MEEP results that we receive and we use those to drive our instruction. We find out where the gaps are, where we need to go with the Common Core state standards um, to also develop our mini lessons along with um, our essential skills that follow the Dearborn writing framework and to drive our instruction with the three text types in writing. Um, I push into first grade and second grade, six classes a day. Um, those students get so excited when they see me. They know it's process writing time for 45 minutes. To see what our first graders are doing this year compared to, you know, I've been there 13 years, so I've seen just tremendous results. And I take pictures of what the kids do. I send them to Mrs. Farage. We post them. We share them with the district. Um, I just love being part of this team and seeing how our results are just continuously rising um, each and every year. Um, Hilda Irani is going to share with you um, what a day at Maples looks like as far as the writing binders go and um, what we do um, in the classroom day in and day out. So thank you. Hello, board members. Um, one of the biggest things with our writing program is the writing binders. Uh, three years ago when we implemented this, we, we strive for consistency. Our grade levels kind of each kind of doing their own thing. And when we introduced this as a staff, we had that total buy-in. Myself, Mr. Farkas at the time, he was the other uh, resource teacher coach. And we would push in and we co-taught with these teachers. We still do that today. We coach with the teachers. We're there for the students. I personally work with all of the third grade classrooms. I have two first grade classrooms, so I see six classes a day as well, just like Ms. Marveso. And we truly were there for, for everybody. So not only are the teachers learning, the students are learning and we're there doing it together. And we really have that team effort. They're, the kids are excited about learning. They love, I mean, we go in, oh, you're not coming in for writing today, but we'll still do it, right? And I say, yes, we will still be doing it. And that expectation is there. It's clear. Every day there is writing for at least 40 to you know, 55 minutes. Sometimes writing keeps going after I walk out of that room. So that writing piece is in place. Our writing binders this year with the adoption of Common Core State Standards truly reflect that. We have three text types divided up in that binder. So they're narrative writing pieces beginning in second grade, carry on to third, carry on to fourth. Our fifth graders that'll be leaving us in two and a half weeks will finally get to empty out those binders. Those binders will not, never go on their desks. They stay on the shelf. So that ownership, because I tell them you take care of this. This is your baby. Nothing bad happens to this. And when you leave me in fifth grade, that's when that writing can go home. When parents visit the classroom, that's when they can see that work. So truly just that whole, I want them to be you know, proud of their work. They put so much time, so much effort into it, and sort of value what they have in there. Besides having the narrative in there, we've also got the informational writing pieces from that text type, and then our, our opinion. 
is in there. And then we have our text, our uh, writing tools. And so those students are taught truly how to use the tools, how to use that thesaurus, how to use those different um, writing checklists that we help develop. Everything that, the rubrics, all of that with the help, from, you know, what we get from Mr. Farkas from the district writing framework. We try to put it and mesh it all together. And I really feel that the kids at Maple School are not afraid of writing. It, you know, that might not be their favorite subject, but no one groans. <coughs> no one is, you know, it's writing is something that's very successful. And they can see that and we celebrate that. Um, the writing scores that Mrs. Farage alluded to on the back there, I mean, just the growth, MEEP alone and MEEP can be very challenging just with the different curveballs they throw at us every year. And we've seen that growth. So not only do we want the kids and the parents to celebrate it, we as a staff, we celebrate it. Because we know how hard we've all worked together to, to see that. And you know, bring on the next challenge that comes at us, whether it be you know, the SBAC or whatever we have. And so we're just very grateful of what we, you know, with the leadership that we have. And you know, writing never stops. None of the initiatives that we have as long as we're in class, that's what's going on. And so we truly, she does not, you know, Mrs. Faraj makes sure that we're always there. Our first number one priority is to be with those kids. We'd love that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.